We're going to turn to Vatican City now, where history will be made this Sunday when two popes become saints at the same time, and two popes could also be on hand to witness the canonization. Also a first, ABC's chief foreign correspondent Terry Moran is live at the Vatican right now. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George, and it really is an extraordinary, and here on the streets of Rome, a joyful moment. The crowds are building up to a million pilgrims expected to join hundreds of bishops and cardinals and thousands of priests and world leaders to celebrate the very ancient ritual of the canonization of saints for two men who, in their very different ways, were rock stars of the modern era. And so it begins. The crowds are just now pouring into the eternal city. Souvenir stands doing brisk business. Armies of city workers preparing the way. Up to a million pilgrims are expected. There's never been anything like this in the long history of the church. Two popes, one day to remember. Probably the two popes who changed the church the most. These are lives that are recorded. We watched them, and now they're saints. For John Paul II, it's been a fast track to sainthood, just nine years. So fast, it stirred controversy, especially among many victims of sexual abuse by priests, a rancid church scandal that festered and deepened during John Paul's long papacy. But he towered over his times, his fierce resistance to tyranny seen as helping to end the Cold War. Santo Subito, the crowds chanted at his funeral in 2005, sainthood now, and now it comes. John XXIII, the peasant pope, they called him. He revolutionized the church when he summoned the Vatican II Council and pushed for a fresher, more modern Catholicism. The special thing about John XXIII was the calling of the council and his personality. He was a very jovial man, a fat and happy saint. Pope Francis is expected to be joined by Pope Benedict. That's never happened before. In this whole celebration, a moment of unity for the Catholic Church. Pope John XXIII, long seen as a liberal hero. John Paul II, a conservative hero. What Pope Francis is doing with this is saying that doesn't matter. It's about faith.